I'm onto something here. I think I can cut it in the social media marketing world. So at the end of 2018, I actually was like, you know what, let's make this a legit thing. So Welcome to my very first YouTube video. I can't believe I have started this journey and thank you guys for coming along with me on it. So each and every week, I'm gonna be delivering you guys some amazing video content around things that you guys have requested. Uh, predominantly, I'm going to be talking about social media, content creation, and small business tips, tricks, hacks, uh, literally anything you can think of. And if you guys want, I am always an open book. You can shoot me a DM on Instagram and I'm gonna be taking your requests for YouTube videos. But to kick this one off, I actually want to give you a little bit of a foundation of who I am in case you haven't come here from TikTok or Instagram or one of my other channels. I wanna give you guys a brief history of how I came to where I am today because my career and my journey in the social media industry is not like most. So let's take it back to the beginning. I actually graduated high school right at the end of the recession in 2010. And I had a, quite a few different college offers. I ended up settling on something close to my hometown just for financial sake. I really wanted to go to the University of Florida, but it was just gonna be too tough on the wallet. And I ended up going to the University of South Florida with a concentration in, God, I don't even remember the name of it at this point, I was gonna be a physical therapist. And I never really had an interest in the medical field. I've always been very creative person, creative at heart, uh, but I knew that a career in the creative field right after a recession, I didn't have any job opportunities there. So I was like, you know what? Physical therapy, I like biology, I like anatomy, I guess we'll try this. And then you guys, I took my very first chemistry class and I was like, fuck this, I cannot do this. Uh, and so I ended up switching my major to business and specifically marketing. And that is kind of where I was introduced to this world of a creative career, a, something that I would love to do 20 years down the road. But I will say, I went to college from 2010 to 2013. And while social media was kind of a thing, there was nothing in the curriculum about social media marketing. And I knew that, you know, I was gonna join some kind of corporate career, which I did. <laughs> I knew that there was something special about social media marketing. I just didn't know what yet. So back in college, I really did, the one good thing about USF, uh, University of South Florida, is that they're a research institute. So I actually, my marketing degree, while yes, there is a lot of like creative, fluffy theory type of stuff, I did actually get to do a lot of research, which was very, very beneficial. And I was able to see the math side of business, the math side of marketing, which really helped me in my corporate career. So straight out of college, after a couple of internships that I actually had during college, I was very fortunate at the ripe age of 21 to join a corporate marketing team. And I thought I hit the jackpot, and at the time I did, I was a 21 year old uh, making way too much freaking money. And at first I joined this corporate marketing team as a proposal writer. And now I didn't even really know what that was when I first got the job, but essentially I would go out and I would ghost write for the salespeople. I would write the proposals to win business. I worked for a staffing company. So we were trying to compete with tons of other staffing companies for large bids. Specifically, I worked in the health and school field. So we would try and win bids for things like physical therapists, occupational therapists, RNs for these like smaller schools uh, to then go and staff them. I don't wanna bore you with the details there, but essentially I was a ghostwriter. And as my career evolved there, I went from like this hourly temp employee to a salaried employee. And for those of you that come from corporate marketing or a corporate team, you know how absolutely crazy this can get. Uh, I went from loving my job, loving what I was doing to having so much pressure put on. Uh, I kind of 
still always had this proposal writing mentality, but then I would be brought in on different marketing projects. I would have, you know, photography projects, graphic design projects, all these things wrapped into one and it was overwhelming. And it got to the point where I, I'm gonna toot my own horn a little bit here. I was really good at my job. And all throughout that time at corporate, I worked there for about four or five years. I worked pretty much on one of our brands and then things shifted. Uh, we got bought out, new brands came along. There were so many different things. And at the end of it, I wasn't happy with the culture. I wasn't happy with my job. I didn't have creative freedom and I knew something had to change. Now, you might be thinking, okay, you're just complaining about your nine to five. Listen, I am not a nine to five kind of gal. It just didn't work for me. And the reason why I knew it didn't work for me is that all throughout my time in corporate, I actually owned a photography business. So that's kind of where I really started to find my groove of, okay, you know, I loved photography. I did everything from portraits to weddings, babies, families, you name it, I did it. Um, but I still, I wasn't happy there. I wasn't happy in my corporate career. I wasn't making enough money yet either. Well, let's be real. I was making too much money at the corporate job, but I was just really unhappy. Uh, and I was like, I need to figure out a way to combine these two. My photography business didn't give me enough income to fully quit my job, but I didn't really want to be at this job anymore. Um, and I was just like, there's got to be a happy middle ground somewhere. So that's when I ended up start. I started to freelance in the social media marketing world. I really, and at this time, it was around the 2015 to 2017 range that I really started to see what you could do with social media marketing. I was doing it for my photography business and I started to see, you know, the Jasmine stars of the world, the Jenna Kutchers, they started up and coming. And I was like, this is something that's really big. Um, and, you know, there's more here that we can tap into. So after... I ended up leaving corporate America and I actually worked for a very small clothing boutique at the time I was living in Jacksonville, Florida. I was the marketing manager for a clothing boutique. Meanwhile, again, still doing photography and freelancing on the side. I, let's just say I didn't sleep. I basically never had a day off for about four years, uh, which I'm very grateful for, but that mentality gets old really quick. So from there, this is where things really started shifting for me is I went from a corporate marketing team of like 55, 60 people down to me, just me marketing an entire business. And I helped with literally every aspect of marketing. Whereas before in the corporate marketing team, I'd have my specialties with this business. Um, I actually had to do, I was the solo marketer. Everything from social media, I was the content creator from photos to videos. I was the one running ads. I was doing outreach. I ran the brand ambassador program. I There was one girl that sh didn't show up to her shift. I actually had to work a floor shift. So there were so many different things that I had to do for this business. And again, I'm like, I feel like I'm finally getting somewhere, but this still isn't working for me. I still didn't have creative control over what I was doing day in and day out. And that's when I really started picking up on the freelancing side of things. I had a couple of social media clients just with even without a business. At this point, it was 2017, 2018. I worked for this small boutique. And again, I just still wasn't 100% happy. I didn't get to do, well, yes, I was more in line with what I love doing each day. It still, it wasn't me. It wasn't my brand. It wasn't my business. I wasn't invested in it. And there, that is the moment that I realized that I need to do my own thing. I need to create my own business for social media marketing. And that is exactly where everything came to fruition. So right around the same time that I was really interested in starting this new business, my husband and I actually decided to move back to our hometown, Tampa, Florida. Uh, this was towards the end of 2018, like August-ish of 2018. And that's when I decided to do entrepreneurship full time. Um, it was very, very scary. I had always had some kind of stable income along with my freelancing or my side hustles or my businesses. But in this time, at the end of 2018, I knew if I, I God, I don't even know how old I was at the time, 25, 26. I was like, if I don't do this now, I'm never going to do this. I will not ever fully dive in unless I fully dive in. And again, 
Coming from that corporate background, I was making upwards of $55,000, $60,000 a year plus my side hustles. I took about a $15,000 pay cut to go be a marketing manager for a small clothing boutique. And then from there, I had to rely on my own income. And this is a story for another time, but that was absolutely insane. I really had to figure out how I could at least somewhat match my income um, right off the bat. You know, we did have some savings. I did have some stuff built up, but I was really starting from the ground up the minute we moved back to our hometown. So at the end of 2018, rather than diving headfirst into a full-on social media marketing business, I was still doing a lot of freelancing on the side and my photography business. Up until this point, I was still doing photography, still picking up gigs here and there. I ended up just on a whim, I created an Instagram account and I was like, I have no idea what the hell I'm gonna name this business. And I was like, I know I wanna do something creative. I know I wanna do social media marketing. I haven't decided if I wanna stop doing photography. So what I did is I ended up just creating this Instagram account and I just titled it A Creative Co. That is literally how the name came about. There's nothing special to it other than I was like, I kind of want to tie my name in, Amber. Um, so I was just like, let's just go with the first initial A. Okay, what can I do with that? Um, I know I want to do something creative. Okay, perfect, creative. And then co, company. Again, a little bit, the little co is kind of hipster, whatever, but that is how I came up with it, creative co. I get that question asked all the time. From there, I took that Instagram account and I, what I did is instead of saying, I'm open for business, what I wanted to do is I wanted to start from the ground up, zero followers, and see how quickly I could gain a following trying out different social media marketing tactics every single day. And then I would post the results for my community. And this was so much fun and people really loved this project. And I've honestly, I've considered going back to doing this on a couple occasions just for fun. So each and every day I would post something, um, I would try out a new social media marketing tactic and I would post the results of this gained me this many followers, this gained me no followers, I lost followers. And showing that process for 30 days to people that I knew, my audience, um, going after a new audience, people that I networked with, they really loved this project. And I was like, okay, I'm onto something here. I think I can cut it in the social media marketing world. So at the end of 2018, I actually was like, you know what, let's make this a legit thing. So January of 2019, I actually opened the doors to A Creative Co and I made it legit. I ended up just, I was like, you know what, we got to do this. And I took a couple of my freelancing clients and I told them, hey, I'm transitioning this into a full-time model. I lost a few. I gained a few. I kept a few for up until like a couple months ago. You know, I've been working with them for quite some time. And so I want you guys to keep in mind that A Creative Co., while I've only technically had this business for a little over two years, I've been an entrepreneur since about... 2012, I started doing photography in college and, you know, throughout my career, I've done the entrepreneurship thing for a very long time. This was the first time that I had something successful, successful enough to be my full-time strategy, to be my full-time income. And what I found is that I was able to pick up clients really, really fast. There's something that I don't know if it was a combination of I knew what to do in the business world and I finally matched my passions with my expertise. And at first, A Creative Co. did everything. I would shoot the videos, I would create the content, the graphics, the this, I'd help with every kind of social media platform. And I soon started to get very, very, very burnt out. I took on way too much. I was working, I was a solo entrepreneur all of 2019. And I'd be working 12 to 14 hour days, working on the weekends, never taking time off for myself. And as I got into 2020, I knew, or they kind of the end of 2019, into 2020, things needed to change. So at first I started to bring on a little bit of um, contracted help. So I'd send some stuff to a graphic designer. I, you know, sent, I would hire this person or hire that person, but only like on a contract basis. And again, I knew that wasn't going to be enough. So in 2020, Right before the pandemic hit, I actually started to bring on my very first team member. And at first, in all honesty, she was just an intern that I paid and put her as a 1099. And I started to pass out some very, very small tasks to her, uh, you know, some client facing tasks, some admin facing tasks. And again, I was still growing way too rapidly. 
I started marketing my business more on TikTok and all these things and the pandemic hit and blah, 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 blah. Then I knew even during the pandemic, I was very grateful to keep my business. I ended up closing the doors of my photography business. Remember, I've had this this whole time. I said, this is no longer. I am really just going to focus in on A Creative Co., stop burning myself out and really just drive home in what I want to do. And that is exactly when I kind of switched my business model. I said, I am going to ride content creation and organic social media marketing. And that is it. And only for Instagram. I said, you know, I'll cross promote a little bit on Facebook, but I am not doing anything else. And that's what I've come to known for. I help clients from the beginning of coming up with content ideas, executing those content ideas, scheduling them, posting them, helping them grow a following on Instagram. And that is what I've maintained all the way through 2020. And I would br- I brought on new team members. I had a business manager. I have some social media strategists. I went through a rebrand, all the things. These are so many stories for some later dates. I want to give you guys just the foundation for this video. And then that leads me into today, 2021. I, again, was burnt the hell out. I couldn't do this anymore. I knew that I had to take a shift in my business. I were, at first, I really wanted that social media agency model. So I thought, I'm going to grow this business, have 20, 30, 40, 50 clients, have a bunch of people working under me. And I soon started to hate it. The more people I brought onto the team, the more clients I signed, the more resentful I was. And I still wanted to maintain this sense of a small boutique, just a couple of people working on my team um, and really fulfilling and helping with small businesses. Because the bigger I grew, the more expenses I had. And I said, I won't get to work with the people that I actually want to work with if I keep doing this. So from there, again, I kind of went through this transformation of, I really want to focus in and be a content strategist. I do still have a couple of monthly retainer clients, but I'm really starting to focus now in my business of serving small business owners through helping them with a content creation strategy. Again, I finally found my passion. I'm reinvigorated. And I tell people, you guys can manage, especially the people, the women that I work with, they know how to schedule and post and do things on Instagram. I said, let me help you with the strategy. Let me help you with the brains behind it. And now here we are. This is what A Creative Co. looks like today. And I'm even now on my own content journey, hence why you are watching this. I rapidly grew on Instagram and on TikTok and now here on YouTube. Hopefully we can get the same. And I basically want to share my knowledge with the world. I've developed products. I've developed courses and memberships. And now I want to give back and yeah. That's pretty much it, you guys. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. Stay tuned to more uh, tips and tricks videos. This is definitely going to be one of the fluffier episodes where I just kind of laid my heart on the line. I'll be posting new videos every single week. I haven't figured out which day yet, so I'm going to play around with some things so that I can be one of those cool YouTubers that say, subscribe to my channel. I put out new YouTube videos every Wednesday. I haven't figured that out yet. So, um, but you guys, thank you so much. Make sure you subscribe and tune in. And you guys can also follow me over on Instagram and TikTok. 